This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and welcome to episode 5 of my Mac Pro series. So, you've just installed your shiny new OS X onto your 32-bit EFI Mac. You go to select it in the startup disk menu, and you hit restart. You wait for what seems like a lifetime staring at a white screen, and you can't figure out why. All of a sudden, there's an Apple logo, and you're thinking, salvation. It's actually booting. Your screens turn on, and you're so excited. And then you realize you're in Lion again. What the heck? It appears you have forgotten the most important part about installing a new OS X on your 32-bit EFI Mac. They're written for 64-bit EFI Macs. You've forgotten that you need to install a modified boot.efi file to boot into a newer operating system. So how do you do it? I will be showing you in this video. You need to download Piker's boot.efi which is at this address right here. You can pause the video or I will also leave the link down in the video description. Once you've downloaded the file I would suggest pulling it onto your desktop. Before we install the boot.efi file onto our hard drive, we need to first type in some terminal commands which will come in handy later on in the video. We go to Spotlight, type in Terminal, select Terminal, And there is. Now all these commands I will be including in the video description. Or you can also just pause the video. So you don't have to sit around watching me type in things. I will type them in and then start the video back up. First off you'll want to enter this and then hit enter. That will allow you to see all the hidden files. But before that will work, you have to hold down Option and right click on Finder and click Relaunch. After you do that, you will be able to see hidden files. Now you want to do this one. Hit Enter and type in your password. This allows you root access and makes you the system admin. Now you want to leave this window open while we do the next thing. Next you want to go to your new OS X drive files. You want to go to system library, core services, and now you want to find boot.efi. This file is locked. To unlock it we need to go back to terminal. You'll want to enter this command then make sure there's a space after it. Then you want to click on boot.efi and drag it over to your terminal window. And then hit enter. Now your boot.efi file is unlocked. Now you have to take your modified boot.efi file 
and drag it over to the folder. It will ask you to authenticate and then you just hit replace. Then you put in your password It replaces the file. The last step you want to do is enter this command and then click and drag your new boot.efi file and hit enter. This will relock the boot.efi file and may prevent newer operating systems like El Capitan replacing the file with the next update. And then you have to go back. To the main folder. And now go down to. User. USR. Then we want to go to standalone i386 and replace this boot.efi with the same file. You click authenticate, replace, and type in your password again. And now you are ready to boot into your new OS X for the first time. Of course we can just go down and select our startup disk. Once it's selected you can hit restart. Now that the system is restarting you should see a slightly different loader. This is your new loader. It might be black though with a white apple if you use the other modified boot.efi file. And now we are booted into El Capitan for the first time. Of course I haven't set it up to default to the other monitor. But I can show you that it is El Capitan. And if we do a system report, Mac Pro 2, 1. And that's all you need to do to get your 32-bit EFI Mac to boot a newer OS X. One last thing to add, every time you do a system update, any software update that includes updating the OS X version, like from 10.11.4 to 0.5, you will have to do the boot.efi change again, otherwise your system will not boot. So you need to boot back into Lion and follow the steps from the video again. This has been a Rutke Mods video.